This world shall know pain. Yo guys, it's your homie Zeno Payne. I'd like to welcome y'all to one of the Black Desert video for the Xbox One. In today's video, we're going to be going over Tier 8 Horses. As you guys may or may not know, a lot of people thought Tier 8 Horses were in the game because in one of the patch notes, I can't recall right now because I tried looking for it, it said in the past that Tier 8 Horses were in the game. I think it was like three or four patches ago. Well, they did make a forum literally about a month ago i'm gonna go ahead and increase the zoom in so you guys can go ahead and read this properly on the screen it says right here directly from the support team on july 12th 2019 greetings adventurers thank you for contacting the black desert xbox team this is gm keplin and at your service we understand that you are inquiring the availability of tier 8 horses in game Please be informed that the highest availability horse is the tier A and they can be obtained either on breeding or exchanged. We hope that this answers your inquiry. Thank you. You are more than welcome to file a new ticket to us if you have any other concerns or regards. GM Keplon. So this is confirmation that we all thought that tier 8 horses were actually in the game. Well, it turns out that they actually weren't. And this forum is full of people pissed off. And don't get me wrong, they have every right to be. Because imagine being told that something's in the game. And you guys are, you know, just to make life easier for yourself, you're one of the people who actually spend money on the game and buy the horse breed resets in the pro shop. And you're using your horse breed resets over and over and over again, spending that money in order to get a tier A as fast as you possibly can. Well, all these people, well, most of them in the forums have done this. And they were basically chasing after something that isn't there. Like, this doesn't affect me at all. That's one person. Then we have, you know, people bitching to other people saying that they, they're not entitled to anything when a lot of people think they're entitled to something. And then if we scroll down, you know, people are trying to rub it in other people's face like, oh, tier eight horses are on the second roadmap. I mean, that's kind of irrelevant with how a GM did say specifically that we do have tier eights in the game. But as you can see here, we scroll down, we see CM Sherna. He says, we found out about tier eights not being activated relatively recently too. With the rates at what they are now, they are possible, but they were disabled for optimization reasons. This wasn't communicated internally until we saw the roadmap. So yeah, we're equally as annoyed. We are working with our teams to find a solution to the issue when they eventually release. So a lot of people are happy with that response, but a lot of people are still pissed off and are, you know, I mean, even went as far as to put in Article 30 for compensation for damages. See, I mean, I agree to disagree. You know, I'm on no one's side here. I would be pissed. I mean, that's it. But I don't know about compensation or any of the sort. I mean, according to this, maybe people who have done, you know, spent money on horse breed resets do deserve compensation but i do have a clip from their most recent uh live stream for when they're going over the patch notes for the archer in come so i'm going to go ahead and play that for you guys right now for those of you who have done it and tell me what you think so give me a second as we switch over okay so i was kind of weird tier eight horses unfortunately they'll be coming soon yeah uh so yeah okay we'll talk about that for slightly right so for tier eight horses, uh, there was a lot of miscommunication, and we learned that uh, there was an issue with tier eight horses when you guys did, and we're working with the dev team, design team, and everyone else to figure out a way to uh, compensate people, compensate as well as like deal with the situation, right? Yep. Uh, I believe we talked about it on the forum for a second as well as on Discord, but uh, just cheat your way up, dude. Yeah. Just, All right. just go to 59. All right. Yeah. yeah, so we're we're trying to figure out a way to alleviate the situation for everybody because it's not okay. So now for those of you who thought tier 8s were actually in the game, how do you feel now to find out that they actually are not? I mean, we also even have someone saying, going as far as to say is, do you not understand that people spent real money chasing something they were told was in-game but wasn't? Has 
how is this being entitled in the real world getting people to pay for something non-existent is considered fraud so i'm curious to know how you guys feel about this how many of you guys actually bought breed resets and chasing after a tier 8 that wasn't actually in game when you were told otherwise i'm really curious to know your thoughts and feelings towards this i'm wondering how pearl abyss is going to handle this situation I think the best way to handle the situation might be to hand everybody a free tier 8 horse at professional 5 or more. I think that might be a very good compensation for people who actually wasted their money on chasing something that wasn't in the game. But like I said, guys, tell me how you feel down in that comment section below. If you guys want more Black Desert Online content for the Xbox One, and if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Other than that, your homie Xenopane out. Peace.